Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome John Rahm to the interview room. John, after a difficult double bogey start, you came back with seven birdies and an eagle on number eight. What were you thinking after you were walking off that first green? <laughs> uh, you know, a couple different things. If you're going to make a double or four putt or anything, might as well be the first hole. Right? I got 70, 71 holes to make it up. Um, after that, it was more, that was a, uh, I was focused on the fact that all the strokes were good. The reads were, were good. Uh, the roll was good. Obviously, the speed was off on the first two putts. Uh, so uh, once I kind of accepted that there was nothing really to look into, uh, I just got to work. I had 17 holes to uh, to make up. And I've, I've always said, I've always told Adam, and I tell a lot of people that ask me about the Masters, if you can somehow make it through the first six and a half holes, and what I mean is putting the ball in the fairway on seven, and you're around even par, I think it's a pretty good start. It's easy to make bogeys. It's not easy to make birdies. So if you can get through that, you have a, a short iron into seven, eight, nine, to maybe make some birdies and get the round going. And uh, I was able to do that and took advantage of it the rest of the day. Terrific round. Let's open it up for questions, please. Yes. Hit every fairway today. Just curious, what was the key for the driving performance? Uh, I don't know, finally, it's the first time this year that it's felt like it should in the past. My swing off the tee, definitely. Uh, there's two three woods on one on, on the first hole and one on ten. Uh, both will hit. Uh, every other tee shot is something I mentioned after the round two to Adam as well. It was about as good as I could think so. Uh, Line-wise, especially, all of them were on line. Every trajectory was the way I, I thought of. So, um, being the strength of my game, I wouldn't say there was any key. I just really... Uh, committed to my lines and, and to my swing and, and was able to pull it off. What felt different about the swing than it had earlier in the year? Uh, was is not the same driver head I had in, in Palm Springs and uh, actually, yeah, even after Rev, I had a different one in Rev and I changed one or two other times after Rev as well because it just wasn't the right one and finally found one that I'm comfortable with. Daniel. John, you've said in the past that you don't want to get rid of your fire or your passion because you feel like it helps you play better golf. Was was today one of those days? Yeah, to help me carry those trees on the left on two. Yeah, so I mean, I definitely swung hard at that one. It was gonna, you know, if that ball didn't turn, that was gonna cover the bunker for sure. David. Hey, John. You are obviously the, um, the favorite pick of the media experts. Is it more of a confidence or a little bit more pressure? I'm the favorite? God, I was third on the odds yesterday, so. Oh, you were first. Well, now, now me, maybe, you know. yeah. I mean, afterwards, yeah. Uh, I mean, well, thank you for that. But obviously, I've played really well this year, right? Maybe not the last few tournaments. Um, but I'm, I'm feeling confident, obviously. Hopefully, I can keep it going. I know it's just the first day, and it's a long way to go. And there's still a lot of great players who had a great front nine. I'm looking down because I can. <laughs> it's a little fancy over here, so I can see my score, <laughs> I can see everything. Yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, so it's still a long way to go. I'm obviously super happy what I've done today, right? Uh, I didn't expect to hit a great three with a good second shot and four putt the first hole, but to overcome that and shoot nine under on the next 17 holes was, was something to be proud of. And um, hopefully I can just keep it going. Uh, we'll see. You know, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to tee off tomorrow, if I'm going to tee off on time or late. Uh, there is possible thunderstorms today, so there's a lot of question marks up in the air. And with that said, I'm really happy I started the way I did and gave myself uh, you know, a solid start to the week. Thank you. Good luck the rest of the week. Thank you. James. Do you think that given the forecast for the rest of the week that maybe today was the day to try to make a move and score very low? No. No, not really, no. Uh, I think there's the thought every single day, right? Um, it's just hard to say what's going to happen, right? Um, every time we've had bad weather here, when it's as warm as it is, it's usually a thunderstorm, so we're not really playing. But when it comes and goes through, it softens up the golf course and it gets a little bit more scorable, right? So it's hard to say when is going to be the easiest day. Um, Luckily, I don't think the wind blew as, as hard as it was supposed to today. And 
starting on 13 on, I mean, we barely had any win, was able to take advantage of that. So, yeah, I mean, uh, if there's ever, like I just said, if there's ever a good time to shoot a low score, obviously Sunday would be the best if you're somewhat close. But knowing that, you know, we don't know how the week is going to unfold, I'm, I'm definitely happy I started this way.